Hello, this is John Seiler of JS Dev, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of how to make a Snapchat theme. First, we're going to go into uh, Photoshop, and you don't have to use Photoshop. You can use uh, any photo editing software, okay? And we're going to open up, um, I know mine says Snapchat theme tutorial, but that's not what we're going to open up. You're going to go ahead and open up Snapchat uh, template, and we're going to go ahead and open up all the files that are in it. Okay, now the first thing that pops up is the uh, Snapchat logo itself, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy the my JS Dev logo here, and because that's what kind of theme I'm just going to kind of throw together for you guys, just to give you a little run around of how it is. Go ahead and erase Snapchat there, add the uh, JS Dev logo, get it looking somewhat right, uh, it looks about right, okay. And we're just going to go ahead and type in Snapchat here, just to add there. Okay. Put it right there, just resize it a little bit. Okay, that works. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and save that. And uh, that's called a uh, Snapchat logo at 2x.png. <coughs> okay. Exit out of there. No. All right. And here we go. We're going to start with uh, the different arrows you see in the uh, feed list. And I'm just going to change the color. But you can put an image behind them in uh, some of my Snapchat themes I, uh, themes I do. That's just what we're going to do here. We're gonna, here we go. Save them all real quick. Just trying to get this done as quick as possible for you. Um, usually a Snapchat theme takes me uh, about two, three hours to do to add all the images and everything else. And uh, I know most people like me do not like watching a two hour tutorial video. So we're just going to go ahead and change the colors. Okay, and now we are at the background where right after you take the pictures, you get to choose who you want to send it to. And uh, we're going to go ahead and erase everything here. Okay. All right, we're going to definitely be changing this. Definitely too small. There we go. Take that into a white background. Then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, paste on my JS Dev logo. Rotate it a little bit. And, and as you can see, this seems to be a little bit of a bigger than what uh, some iPhone screens look like. This is actually a little taller than normal because this is for an iPhone 5. Okay, And when we save this, we're going to save this as send to background 568H at 2x dot png okay no no all right and here we go this one here's for the iphone 4s we'll go ahead and erase it um we'll paste my logo there and we'll tweak it just a little bit all right that works there turn it Mm. All right. There we go. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and save that. Alrighty. Now we gotta go ahead and open these back up because I forgot my colors already. Get rid of that, get rid of this arrow. All right, and here's the search bar. You're going to go ahead and just match that up with uh, what we want the hood, footer and header to look like. Okay. There we go. I always forget that magnifying glass. I'll do the same thing on the search bar here. 
Okay, and here we are back with just a couple more. And uh, like I said, we don't have to keep the squares or anything of that nature. We've, uh, like I said, we've already um, just coloring this just for you to make this a quick tutorial. Um, you can do any images with any of these. Um, the only thing that really matters is the image size itself. Okay, and here's the my friends background for your friends list. We're just gonna go ahead and put the logo here. I'm just gonna drop it to the bottom. Okay. Let's save it. Okay. It's usually best when uh, you download the um, the theme template that uh, I've given you a download link for in the description um, to go ahead and just make two different copies so that way you can work out of one copy and have a template for use with later if you decide to go ahead and make a second snapchat or third snapchat or however many things you feel comfortable making okay all right and here's the buttons that you see in camera mode. Um, this red one here is when you hold it down and uh, you hold it down so that way you can start recording a video. That's what this red one is. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put the JS Dev logo there towards the center. And uh, we just left it red there just to kind of give an idea of the size. All right, get rid of that red. All right. Then what I usually do is when it comes to the buttons, I just duplicate the letter, the uh, the icon itself and then I'll, I'll choose that icon the top layer and uh, you can do whatever color I do red um, it just kind of helps me and then other people will realize what's going on because it kind of keeps with somewhat of the color theme of snapchat okay and uh, we'll go ahead and color that top layer I know it don't look completely right but I'm not really trying to be perfect with this right now and we're going to go ahead and just adjust the opacity um, about 48% and cancel. We got to save it this way. Alrighty. Main button red at 2x.png is what this one is. Okay. And next we'll just delete that layer. And uh, here we'll just kind of change the opacity. And like I said, you can do it however you want. Um, Mm, not 58 will go up mm. 74 75 percent looks fine so we're gonna go ahead and save that and we're gonna save this one as uh, main button pressed at 2x dot PNG and it says already got open so okay we'll have to uh, come over here and close these two out because we're gonna just use this one image for all of them okay we're gonna go back here and I'm gonna save this again And we changed the opacity on that, made it a little clearer, so that way when people press the button, they knew. And plus, it kind of helps with the function. Now we're going to turn the opacity all the way up, and we're going to save this as the uh, main button default at 2x.png. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and open them back up because now we're going to start working on the main icons themselves. Alrighty, and uh, while we're working on the icons here, I'm going to give you a little information. Um, here in a little bit, we'll be dealing with uh, different lines of code to change more colors other than just the images themselves because Snapshot does deal with. Uh, different codes for like their headers and footers and text colors and things like that and uh in order to do that on a windows machine like i'm using uh you got to have a p list p list editor and uh i've added a link um in the description to a good p list uh editor that you can get from cnet um or you can go ahead and google search it and find one that you prefer and uh like i said here in a little bit i'll go more into detail on how abouts to change the different codes. Yes, we want to go ahead and save that. All right. 
No, I usually like to have a little more fun with the icons, but of course this is just a little quick one. Alrighty, and now we're here at the uh, search area of the friend tab. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, ooh, no, just kind of change the colors. And again, like I said, you can use whatever images you want. I'm just trying to keep this as quick as possible. Here we go with the camera flash, whether you want it on or not, and this is what it'll look like if your flash is on. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save that. All right, and here's the uh, feed background, which uh, if you're like me and you delete um, your entire feed after every couple of days, because there's no point in having it on there in the first place, um, this is what you'll see uh, after you delete your feed or even if you're new to snapchat and you don't really have any new snapchat so yeah this is the background you'll see okay no, there we go we're just gonna go ahead and do that oh, there's no point in putting another logo in there <clears throat> All right, and here's the splash screen. Um, it's also called default. Um, whether you have an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 4, it's a default dash 568H at 2X dot PNG for iPhone 5s, and it's just a default at 2X dot PNG for iPhone 4s. there and save that okay haha here we go some more buttons and since I left them actually open this time there we go this makes it a little easier for me Alright, and here we are, we're at the uh, button to add friends. Okay, and this is one to where you can add them, they've not been on your friends list yet. And we're going to go ahead and color this one orange. And save it. Okay, and here's one that shows that they already are your friends, and we're going to color that one blue. Okay, now we're done with all the images, so next we're going to go into uh, the actual file itself the uh, template file that uh, you downloaded go back to bundles into the com dot whatever it's called and uh, always open up info dot plist first to kind of uh, look it over and make sure there's nothing there that I want to mess with which it's really not it just kind of shows you the different bundle icons and things of that nature okay and uh, this is something that a lot of themes have in it just so that way we can change this if you absolutely wanted to I'm not going to go into details on how to change the uh, info.p list but uh, it just kind of shows you different things that it'll pop up all right and we're going to go ahead and exit out of there and then we're going to open up default.p list and we'll open up Photoshop here real quick okay and like I said in the p list editor you're going to deal with different lines of codes but the only thing we're going to deal with here is uh, color codes and uh, 
and see something here. As you see right there, it says header background at the top. And uh, what we're going to do is come over here. And if you notice, it says R, G, and B on Photoshop. However, here it's R's at the bottom, G's in the middle, and B's at the top. And what that is is red, green, blue. And so we're going to start here at the top. And since blue is 160, we're going to go ahead and type in 160 here. Green is 80. So we're going to go ahead and type in 80 here. And red is 2. So we're going to go ahead and type 2 in. Okay. And you just can keep scrolling down. And these different areas will tell you which part that these uh, different color codes do. Like, like I said, you can change your text color and everything else. Um, let's see. Find something else here real quick to uh, change. Okay, so we'll go right here to status bar color and we'll go ahead and change that the same way it said okay blue is uh, 160 green is 80 and red is 2 and I find it real easy to just kind of keep Photoshop open on the separate part of the screen just that way you know what the color codes is and it matches up to the rest of it okay now next thing we're going to do is there's the subheader contacts background and so far and that's the things you want to change is like the header background the status bar color and uh subheader backgrounds and uh okay and to make this easier if you're going to keep them all the same exact color we'll just go here and uh we're going to copy it and then uh we'll go ahead and highlight this because i want it the same color and just hit Control v and that'll change it and we can just keep doing that and doing that and doing that until you're uh, finished so we're going to go ahead and do this one more time can just keep scrolling through here alrighty and then we're just gonna go ahead and save this and like I said we'll uh, we're gonna save it to the snapchat file whichever snapchat file it is that you're working under like I said I'll provide a link to the actual snapchat template itself all right and we'll save that in default.plist and save Alrighty, then we'll just go ahead and close all this out. Alright, next uh, is the program WinSCP, um, or you can use iPhone Box or any of the others. Um, if you were wondering, um, if you're not, if you're new to WinSCP, the password is Alpine. Access denied. You got to make sure that your phone is turned on. There we go. Here we go. Now, when you get to WinSCP or iPhone Box or anything like that, what you're going to look for is Give me just a moment here. Var, no, not var. Um, sorry about that. Um, back to root. Um, it's under the root file and it's a library. And then go down to uh, themes. Okay. And then just come over here onto the left side if you're using um, WinSCP. And go to the Snapchat file that you've been working in. Like mine's under the JS dev file here. And uh, just the regular drag and drop okay and that's pretty much that it'll add it to your phone and then from there you just apply it with winterboard so it's actually pretty simple but uh, before you do that just want to go ahead and go in there real quick open it up and make sure it all transferred alrighty it says it's done so we'll go ahead and close this out And uh, like I said, you just go ahead and apply it with the uh, winter board and reboot it and everything else. Um, I thank you again for watching this video. And like I said, I will provide all the links in the bottom of the in the description. Um, thanks again.